we are back with another aquarium build. I've got this 30 centimetres by 30 centimetre cube. It's uh, low iron glass, so everything's going to be super clear. I was gifted it for Christmas by a family member. I'm super excited to see what we can get done in it. Let's uh, crack on. On this build, I used a window tint for the backdrop. I decided on a frosted effect. Luckily, the film was the same width as the tank, but I still left a couple of inches either side to leave room for errors. Perfect. I prepared the back of the tank with plenty of soapy water. I placed the tint over the back of the tank, being careful to make sure all the edges lined up. I pushed out all the bubbles, being careful not to cause any creases or put any tears into the film. I then removed any excess with the razor blade. I was very pleased with how this turned out. Then it was time to add the substrate. I used aquas oil to provide the tank with nutrients. I spread the aqua soil across the bottom of the tank, making it a bit thicker in the back corner to add some height. I also made sure to leave a small gap around the edge. I filled the margins with sand to give a more pleasant look from the outside. Then I capped off the rest of the substrate to give a more finished look. Soon it was time to add the hardscape. I opted to use grey mountain stone as it added good shape and texture. So, the idea I had was to create an underwater tree, or try and get something to that effect. So, I've created this, <laughs> which is just loads of spare bits of driftwood, which I've glued together into some form of tree, and I've glued just your, your normal filter sponge onto any bits which should have um leaves on just to make um well i'm going to use moss to try and get the effect of a nice healthy tree and i'm using that to sort of give it some bulk and a little bit more depth using aquarium safe super glue i began sticking the moss to the filter sponge that i had already attached to the tree it quickly began to take shape. Whilst the glue was drying, I decided to begin planting the hair grass. I kept it uniform in the substrate to hopefully one day end up with a nice full green carpet.
Now the grass has been planted, it's time to add the tree. I attached a rock to the bottom of the tree to stop the driftwood from floating. I then began to manoeuvre it into position. So that's the hardscape and the plants finished. I'll be honest, I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out, to be fair. Um, now just the scary task of filling her up. So this is the finished product, um, I'm pretty happy with it, eventually all these bubbles will disappear off the moss and off the side of the tank and uh, the water's still got quite a lot of clearing to go. If anyone's got any ideas on livestock, put it in the comments below. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, bye bye.